Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly tarot horoscope reading for April 18th to 24th. Uh, while this is a, uh, well, first of all, this is for Scorpio Sun and Rising. And while this is a general reading, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know I get very specific, okay? I use a bit of astrology, obviously tarot, and my guides to lead your reading. Now, April 18th to 24th this week, listen, there is a lot happening, okay? First, I'm just going to very quickly mention... Uh, there's a lot of activity in your fifth house of love, okay? Love, creativity, children. Uh, and that's because Venus is in Pisces, Jupiter is in Pisces. And we have that major Jupiter-Neptune uh, conjunction in Pisces, all right? That probably really just like your creativity was like a rocket ship, okay? And you had moments of like where you uh, experienced true love because Venus rules your fifth fifth house. One other real quick thing that I'm going to mention is uh, the activity uh, around Taurus, okay? And that's your seventh house because Mercury recently went into Taurus. The sun is going into Taurus uh, today and we do have that major eclipse at the end of the month in Taurus. So that is around your uh, house of um, partnerships, basically, all right? And, you know, it also does rule, like, sex and marriage and Scorpio. You love sex. We all love sex, okay? But because there's so much activity in your fifth and seventh house, that is a perfect recipe for, like, love, relationships, partnerships, marriage, engagements, honeymoon, stuff like that. Uh, love is in the air, okay? Now, I am going to do this reading, and I am very excited to see what's in store for you, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, um, oh my gosh, I already got chills because I feel like I already know this is going to be a great reading, Scorpio. You're probably going to have a great week. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention is I do the uh, traditional cultic cross spread. Uh, I do personal readings and with my personal readings I do uh which you can if you want to book one it's on my website the um I use a different camera for uh the readings and so the view and the angle is different and so I do the YouTube readings on my phone on this um selfie thing or I don't even know what you call it anyway so you may not be able to see the entire spread but uh, I'm going to pull them up one by one just so you can get an idea. The important thing is the message at the end at the end of the day. That's the most important thing. Now, Scorpio. Wow. Okay. It looks like you 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 had and and I know this because I did your reading for last week, but you had something recently some major traumatic moments a moment where you felt like you couldn't move on you felt like you could not get any further than you were um it was there was some sort of incident that may have happened for a lot of scorpios where uh it was it really impacted you on an emotional physical mental level mental health i always tell my readers um i i'm sorry readers but viewers and clients Mental health is the most important thing right now for all of us, okay? And so you recently had something happen. You pulled the Nine of Swords. This came up in your past area. So the good news is that's now in the past, all right? And it, you, you still might be going through a little bit of, you know, uh, I guess healing from it. Uh, but the, the majority of it's done, and that's great, okay? You no longer have to lose sleep at night. You no longer have to worry and feel like alone and feel that uh, your world is falling apart. Nine means you're coming to the end and because it came up in your past area, it did, okay? Now, you pull the three of cups. This is great. You have a lot of reason to celebrate right now, okay? You're in the mood, you're in the mood. You got over whatever this is. And I'm not saying you're going out there and partying and getting drunk, but you know, the Three of Cups really is all about celebration. It's all about sisterhood, brotherhood, spending time with your friends, socializing. It's really, really, just really good energy. You deserve it, actually, Scorpio. I know you have been going through some like ups and downs and it, you know, it's, it is a time to celebrate. It is a time to really bond with those you know. And it's really just a great time overall for you to, you know, embrace life and the ones that 
are around you and embrace love and love the ones around you, okay? You also, interestingly, this happened for another uh, sign. You pull the Queen of Cups in your challenge area. We love the Queen of Cups. I call her the Princess Diana of the Tarot deck. Now, if you are a millennial or a Gen Xers and you're just like, who? Uh, she is amazing. She's an icon. She was an icon. She was the most caring, loving, enduring, just... Uh, but put everyone else before her and this is like huge passion and she the queen of cups is the most emotionally stable the most emotionally uh intelligent just you know she is so selfless and she is you know she's very maternal she's the most maternal so that is one because it came up in your challenge area it's at the cards are asking you to just open up a little bit more emotionally okay and i know that there's a lot of things that did happen um, recently that now is a time to just spend time with friends and, and get back, you know, in a groove, but also open yourself up a little bit. You'll feel a lot better about yourself, all right? Now, excuse me, it looks like because you got the page of wands, it looks like you're thinking about starting something new, okay? You're, start, you're thinking about um, a new direction. You're thinking about... Uh, doing something new with your life. Uh, it, here's the thing about the Page of Wands. I call him the dreamer of the tarot deck, okay? He's very passionate. Page of Usher is in change. This is in your mind. You're wanting some sort of change. You want to do something new. Now, Scorpios, this is great because now you have the time for this week to think about what you want to bring into your life, okay? Whether it's uh, you're a creative person, whether it's photography, painting, writing, poetry, uh, or, you know, very career driven. Maybe you want to look at a new job. Maybe you're looking at like getting a promotion. Maybe you're looking to find a new role or even at home. Maybe you're want to, uh, be a stay at home mom blogger or whatnot, or maybe you even want to do something around the neighborhood, like be, you know, do some sort of fun thing, like have a party, like a pool party or, or organize something like that. Anyway, the possibilities are endless and what i love about the page of wands it's very creative energy he's looking at this new opportunity he's really compelled with it and so and this is also very transformational energy okay so here's the thing it's on your mind scorpio you're thinking about trying something new doing something new launching something new and for scorpios who are not this week you may and if you don't i suggest you do because there is a lot of possibilities coming out from that. Now, remember when I said you had a moment uh, in the past that may have impacted you in a significant way? Well, deep down inside, you are still healing. You are still like recovering from it. The good news is that, listen, you have so much support around you and I am getting that loving energy. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like when you get goosebumps up and down your arms and you get that message and you get that feeling and you get that aura and then I, 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 your body literally changes to that feeling. The support you have around you is so significant and it's so loving and it's it, 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 recognize that okay if you do feel like you need to reach out to someone people will drop everything for you scorpio all right this is that week where if you do feel like you need to reach out to someone do it but also at the same time just take some time okay take some time to heal from whatever situation happened in the past because you are in a good place now all right and it also looks like you will get help in some sort of way. Um, this is all about sharing. This is all about caring. You know, the Six of Pentacles is great. It looks like, you know, it could, for a lot of Scorpios who are here for a career, it could be you, someone could come through. An investor or your parents could, you know, spot you some money. Uh, you could get a loan from the bank. Whatever this idea that you have, this ambition, this new project, this new business, whatever you want to launch, you're going to get help soon, all right? And that's great. And then also for Scorpios who are just looking for that support from, you know, emotional well-being and wellness. Listen, like I said earlier, you have so much support around you. All right. You do. And it's 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 crazy. And, you know, it's a good time this week just to connect with friends. All right. Don't forget that. Now, uh, let's go to your staff. 
Oh, if you like this reading, it would be great if you can like and subscribe. It really helps me out, okay? Um, I'm new to this YouTube thing, and uh, I know that it really helps out the alg algorithm and everything, and it makes me feel really good when you do, so thank you. Okay, so we are going to your staff. Now, here is the crazy thing. You pull the Eight of Pentacles, all right? There's a lot of action in Eight, okay? And so this is just saying that uh, whatever idea you have or whatever uh, in terms of career, it looks like you are working really hard toward it, all right? And for those who are not launching something new but someone who wants to just take things to the next level, dude, you're so talented. You're so focused and you're so determined. My only advice to you, keep at it because you're gonna get there. This is literally you starting your legacy, all right? That's a great card. That's a great card to have. Things are happening for you, Scorpio, okay? That could be the title for my, well, no, I then it's not gonna happen. There's, I'll, I'll think of a stronger one, but things are definitely happening for you, especially when it comes to love. Okay, you did pull the two of cups. And so the message that I just received is mostly for Scorpios in terms of relationship. If you're not in a relationship, something's coming in. All right, be open this week. All right, put that positive energy out there. Uh, go on Tinder, go out. Listen, I did a, re a client reading with someone recently and it was like, uh, they were just like uh, very relationship focused and they, they were, w they wanted to be in a relationship in seven. Uh, they actually started off with like, yeah, well I got so over Tinder and I got so over going out and I was like, well, then you block that energy when you put yourself out of those situations and then how do you meet people? You know, so, uh, just be very open to how you meet someone. Someone's coming through for people here, for Scorpios here for a business. Look, this is a huge, huge huge indication of a new partnership coming through. This is gonna happen. I cannot wait for you. This is gonna be amazing, all right? That is the strongest part in terms of, you know, synergy between two people and then like uh, just partnerships, you know, taking it to another level and two becoming one. This is an amazing card and it's very emotional. It's a very emotional card, so it is love and it is coming. Uh, even if you are in a relationship and if you are partnered up, it just means that you could take things to another level. I just got marriage for a lot of people too. Scorpio, someone's gonna, ah, if you get some proposals to you, please leave a comment. I, that's amazing. Okay, now you did pull the six of swords. Funny trivia for you. The tarot ship, the name of my site is in, inspired by the six of swords. These people are moving away from turbulent times into a way better area they're moving beyond that beyond all the troubled past and turbulence in the past and that's why we love this card and that's what you want to do you're in a position where you are trying to move away from this good for you scorpio i love it i love that you're trying to move forward remember it is you are going to be in a good place things are happening things are happening very slow and steady okay and that's a good vibe all right there it, it's listen we have that massive massive eclipse at the end of the month um and so we're in between that so things may start to pick up really big next week and change but remember there's a lot of i told you a lot of action happening in your partnerships area with marriage and whatnot and boom 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 um lastly temperance all right this is great and I, i'm so glad that you got this because uh remember what i was saying that things are happening in like in a slow and steady way this is just proving that temperance uh she was formerly known as the alchemist because she was really good at like balancing things in terms of like um uh, just what uh, like medicines or meals or if you think of like balance just the right ingredients the right recipes the right amount of things that it takes to make something perfect okay and so that is her and this really is all about you know taking it easy and taking things uh step by step day by day all about order all about just being like uh what is the word um I mean, obviously balance, but it's it's also just making sure that 
you take things slow and steady. One thing that I do want to point out also is that you can see her foot in the water, okay? She's dipping her toes in the water of the collective compass, but also she's testing the waters out. She's not jumping in. She's not um, diving head first. She's literally testing the waters out. That's really good. And it's just saying that uh, that's just kind of like the message of the week is spend some time with friends, okay? You really need it, especially after whatever happened last week that had huge impact on you. And it could have happened even before that. I'm getting the message that it was possibly for some Scorpios could have been something that you've been struggling with for a while, okay? And yeah, you have help around you and you are moving to toward a way better place. So I'm very excited for you, Scorpio. Uh, if you like this reading again, if you can like and subscribe, that would be amazing. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Thank you.